Hi, my name is Michael Case and I'm a developer with iSoftStone. With PowerPoint 2010, it's possible to embed media files within your presentation. Today we're going to walk through an example for programmatically adding video files to a PowerPoint 2010 presentation using Visual Studio 2010. Before embedding the video, the sample code will create a new PowerPoint 2010 presentation and add a slide. Then the video will be embedded into the new slide. The Visual Studio 2010 C-Sharp console application will be used as a framework for the sample code. File, New, Project, Windows Console Application. We'll give it a name of PowerPoint 2010 Embedded Video and put it in the ctemp directory. The sample code presented with this visual how-to makes use of the Butterfly Windows Media video file normally located in the Samples Videos directory. We need to copy this file to the C temp directory for the program to work without modification. If the Butterfly Windows Media video file is not available, it's possible to use another video file with a format supported by PowerPoint 2010. PowerPoint 2010 supports Window Media Video, Windows Video, Windows Media, Movie, and Adobe Flash Media formats. A reference to the PowerPoint 2010 primary interop assembly needs to be added to give access to the PowerPoint 2010 classes in the sample code. So project, add reference. When adding the reference, make sure that you use version 14 of the primary interop assembly. The PowerPoint 2010 Primary Interop Assembly has a dependency to classes in the Microsoft Office Core namespace, so we're going to add a reference to the Office Assembly as well. So we get Project, Add Reference. Again, make sure that you're using version 14 of the assembly. Now we're going to replace the default code that was generated when the application was created with the sample code from the visual how-to. Let's walk through the code. It starts by declaring variables that will hold references to the PowerPoint objects that will be used. If a different video file is being used, the media file name variable needs to be updated with both the full path and name of the video file. A PowerPoint 2010 presentation is created, and a new slide is added using the chart and text layout. The title is added above the video display area, and the video file is embedded using the add media object to method. The file name includes the full path and name of the file to embed. Linked file is set to false, and save with document is set to true to embed the file within the slide, and the upper left hand corner of the display area is set. The scale height and scale width methods are then called to resize the video display area to the video's original size. The video is formatted to display with a beveled edge, and the auto shape type property is used to display in a rounded rectangular shape. The presentation is then saved. Let's run the application and then open the new PowerPoint presentation to check out the embedded video. As you can see, the sample code created a new PowerPoint 2010 presentation with an embedded video. Using Visual Studio 2010 and the PowerPoint 2010 primary interop assembly, it's possible to programmatically embed media files within a PowerPoint 2010 presentation. This visual how-to showed how to embed a Windows media video, but the same technique can be used to embed video files of other formats including Windows Video, Windows Media, Movie, and Adobe Flash Media. It's also possible to embed audio files with the format of Audio Interchange File Format, Unix Audio, Musical Instrument Digital Interface, MPEG Audio Layer 3, Waveform, and Windows Media Audio.